life for it. This is the only show on television where being quick to answer doesn't make you the winner. Here on the Intergalactic Time Capsule, the longer you take to answer a question, the more points you'll get. We'll be testing our contestants' nerve and seeing if they've got the skills to avoid our tank of goo. Ugh. Now, each of our questions is 15 seconds long and we've got an infinite number of clues stored in the Total Intelligence Mechanism, or as I like to call him, Tim. With four rounds and some top-notch prizes up for grabs, it's time to see who's playing today. <laughs> Georgia. Hello, Georgia. Hello. You look a bit excited. <laughs> Happy to be here on the Intergalactic Time Capsule? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of the goo portal, all this gunge down there? It's all nasty and horrible. It's a funny colour, isn't it? Ooh, yeah. No, I don't like the look of it. All right, well, Georgia, lovely to meet you. Best of luck. The next contestant is Christopher. Hi, Christopher. Hi. You're into fishing? Yeah. Now, when you're a fisherman, when you're telling the stories about the fishes that you've caught, you've got to say, oh, it was this big. So how big was your fish? Well, my biggest fish it was about five pounds. It was about this big. You should exaggerate a little bit. Move those hands apart. That's it. It's this big. <laughs> it was huge. It was a monster. We did three men to land it. <laughs> OK, well, best of luck, Christopher. Our third contestant is Chloe. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Good. Nice smiling face. That's good to see. Here on Wait For It. Chloe, you're into karate. What sort of level are you at? What belt do you wear? Yeah, a purple and white one. Is that quite high up? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. So I should watch myself. I don't <laughs> want to get on the wrong side of you, Chloe. <laughs> All right, well, it's lovely to meet you, Chloe. Best of luck on the show. <laughs> OK. We're going to meet our fourth contestant. This is Michael. Hiya, Michael. Hello. You're a footballer. You're into football? Yeah. But also swimming? Yeah. How many lengths do you think you could do in one go? Probably about ten. Ten lengths? Wow, that's quite a lot. That's quite a few laps of our goo portal. How many times do you think you'd be able to go around that? Fifteen. You might see that later then if you end up in the goo portal, might we? All right, well, Michael, it's lovely to meet you. Let's get cracking. It's Now, there are ten questions in this round. You've each got three lives. So remember, you must listen carefully to the clues. And when you think you know the answer, wait for it. All right, guys. Round one, question one. Let's have it, Tim. I'm the type of entertainment in which everyone can take part in, although sometimes people doing me can be dreadful, which is still fun. I came from Japan. Two of the Blue Peter cats shared my name. To take part, you need music, a microphone, and the words to a popular song you want to sing. Oh, just in, Chloe, at 15 seconds. What's the answer? Is it karaoke? Well played. It's the right answer. <laughs> just snuck in at the last minute, bagged yourself 15 points. A good start. OK, question two. I'm a character from a fairy tale. I'm also a pantomime character. My enemy is an evil queen who has a magic mirror. I'm... <laughs> Chloe it's again. It's the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Seven points. OK, Tim, let's have question number three, please. I'm something that people do when they're unhappy. You might do this when you're watching a sad film, so you'll need to have a hanky handy. Georgia. Cry. It's the right answer. Well played. <laughs> Got yourself seven points there, off the mark. Let's go for question number four. Can we hear it, Tim? I'm a kind of fish that mostly lives in the sea. I usually have rows of razor-sharp teeth and hunt to get my food. The sight of my dorsal... <laughs> Christopher, sure. it's the right answer. Well played. <laughs> Put yourself eight points. Good start. OK. Question number five, Tim, please. I'm a bird. I'm black and white in colour. According to a rhyme, I'm one for sorrow, two for... <laughs> Georgia. I'm like pie. It's the right answer. Well played. Six points is yours. The next question is question six. I'm a game and a sport. 
I'm often seen on TV, and people play me quietly. Christopher. Football. It's the wrong answer, Christopher. The answer we were looking for was snooker. Because you buzzed in at six seconds, that means everyone else gets six points. All right, this is question seven. I'm a children's TV series. My main characters are Rose, Oscar and Carrie, who are undercover agents for MI9, working in a high school. They're given missions by the school... Georgia in first. MI High. Is the correct answer. Well done, Georgia. You got yourself 12 points. Well played. Now, that was your last life, so you're frozen out of the rest of this round. Let's hope you've done enough, Georgia. Question eight. Let's have it, Tim. I'm an annoying habit, but most of the time, those people doing it are completely unaware of it. It happens when someone's sleeping, and it can be so bad it... Michael. Snore. It's the right answer. Well done. Get yourself eight points. OK, two more questions in this round. Let's hear question number nine, please, Tim. I'm a British singer. I won the X Factor in 2006. I had the Christmas number one with my debut single, A Moment Like This. My second single... Chloe. Leona Lewis. Leona Lewis is the right answer. Well done. Nine points. OK, Chloe, that was your last life. So you're frozen out for this final question. It's question number 10. Let's have it, Tim. I'm a useful item and may help protect things of value. Banks and building societies have me. People also have me in their homes if they have precious things they want to keep locked away. I may have sturdy locks or a combination. You may see thieves trying to blow me open in films or cartoons. Ooh, out of time there. We were looking for safe. That was the correct answer, not to worry. No one picks up any points on that last question. That's the end of the first round. Who is safe? Who's picked up the most points? Who waited the longest? It's time to find out. Players, leave your play pods and please enter the drop zone. Tim's been keeping score. The first person safe, definitely through to round number two, is... Chloe. Well played, Chloe. The second person, safe, and through to round number two, is... Georgia! Well played, Georgia. Just stay where you are, Georgia. OK. It's down to the boys. All smiles out there, that's good. The person leaving us and about to enter the goo portal is... Christopher! You gotta go when you gotta go. You gotta go when you gotta go, and you've gotta go now, Christopher. See you soon, mate. Bye. Oh, big splash. He's smiling. Give us a wave, Chris. Oh, he's swimming. He's having fun down there. Michael, that was a bit of a close one out there, wasn't it? What was it like seeing Christopher go in? Mm, funny. <laughs> well, like you said, when you've got to go, you've got to go, right? Ready to play round number two? Cool. OK. This one's called Watch and Wait. It's different to round number one, but we use the same scoring system. Wherever you stop the clock, that's the number of points you'll get if you get the question right. You won't hear the question until you stop the clock. You'll just hear this ticking sound. If you stop the clock at eight seconds, you'll hear eight seconds worth of clue, and if you get it right, you bag yourself eight points. If you get it wrong, we'll restart the clues and give your opponents a chance to swipe those points. Now, there are six questions in this round, and you each have three lives, so it's important to wait as long as possible to pick up maximum points. Let's wait for it. OK, our first category is fashion. OK, Tim, start the clock, please. Remember to watch one another. Keep an eye on the clock as well. Good watching going on. <coughs> Georgia, you stop the clock at 10 seconds. You're going to hear 10 seconds of clue, and then I'll ask you for your answer. OK? Let's hear the clues, Tim. I'm a piece of jewellery. I can be made from many different materials, but I'm usually made of silver, gold or beads. 
I can be a plain chain. Uh, Not much there, a George. necklace. Necklace. It's the right answer. Well done. <laughs> well played. George has got ten points off the bat. That's good. Our second category is general knowledge. Tim, start the clock. Keep watching each other. <laughs> Michael in first. You stop the clock at 11 seconds, Michael. Here come your clues. I'm a type of business that can be found in most countries. There are many varieties of me, including Indian, Chinese and Italian. I'm popular when people want to celebrate or simply try something different. Michael, what's your answer? Gonna have to hurry you a little bit. I don't know. OK, not to worry. Michael doesn't get any points there. What we're going to do is we're going to restart the clues and give you, Georgia and Chloe, a chance to swipe some points. So, Tim, let's continue the clues, please. Different to eat. I employ chefs and waiters and I provide my customer... <coughs> Chloe. Is it food? Food is the wrong answer, Chloe. The answer we were looking for was restaurant. Let's go to question number three. The category is television. Tim, start the clock. Keep watching one another. Remember, we want to pick up maximum points. <coughs> oh, Michael in first. Good watching there. Michael, here comes ten seconds of clues. I was a program on CBBC. My main character was called Vladimir, and he had a sister called Ingrid. Their family moved from Transylvania to Britain after a few problems back home. Oh, Michael, do you know the answer? Aladdin. It's the wrong answer. OK, we're going to continue those clues once more. Tim, restart the clues, please. Their father is a 600-year-old vampire, and the title character is destined to become a Grand High Vampire. Just out of time there. Nobody came in to swipe those points. The answer we were looking for was Young Dracula. OK, we're up to question number four. The category is the natural world. Remember to watch one another. Keep track of the clock. <coughs> Chloe, stop the clock at 11 seconds. Let's hear those clues. Glass is made from me. I cover a large part of the Earth's surface. Children dig in me and make castles out of me at the seaside. When rivers are in danger of flooding, people often fill bags with... Is it plastic? Plastic. It's the wrong answer. Sorry, Chloe. Let's restart the clue, please, Tim. Water getting into their houses. I can also be found in old-fashioned egg type. Michael. Sand. Sand? That's the right answer. You've got 15 points there. Top score, very good. Michael frozen out of the remainder of this round. We've got two questions left. The fifth category is things that move. Let's start the clock, Tim. Watch one another, girls. <coughs> Georgia, <coughs> stop the clock at nine seconds. Let's hear those clues. In London, I'm usually black with a light on top that says whether I'm empty or not. I help you get from one place to another. I'm a special type of car. You tell me. What's the answer, Georgia? Um, a car. Unfortunately, it's not the right answer, Georgia. So, Chloe, this is your chance to swipe some points. Restart the clues, Tim, please. The driver where you want to go, and then you pay him when you get there. People sometimes call me a cab, but my name begins with a T. <coughs> In at 15 taxi? seconds. Chloe? Taxi. It's the right answer. Well swiped. <laughs> 15 points. Well played, Chloe. That was your last life. You're frozen out for this final question. The only person that can answer is Georgia. The category is numbers. Let's start the clock, please, Tim. No competition for Georgia here. She's just keeping an eye on the clock. <coughs> she came in at 14 seconds. Let's hear those clues, Tim. I'm a round, even number. I'm the number on the Prime Minister's door in Downing Street. If you multiply me by myself, you will get 100. I'm the original number of green bottles hanging on the wall. I'm the first number. Um, 10. It's the right answer. Well played, Georgia. Good stuff. OK, 
Who picked up the most points? Who waited the longest? Let's find out now. Players, leave your play pods and enter the drop zone. Tim's been keeping score. The first person through to round number three is... Georgia. Well played, Georgia. Smile of relief there. OK, Chloe, Michael. The person about to take a dunk in the gunk is... Michael! We have to say bye to you, Michael. Well played. Oh, there he goes. Oh! He's giving us that swim. Come on, Michael, 15 laps. So, Chloe, the boys have gone. Just the girls are left. Yep. What do you think about that? Ha-ha. <laughs> You're happy? I take yeah. it. Round three is called Wait and See. It's our head-to-head -head round, and it tests how well you know your opponent's strengths and weaknesses. I'm going to give you a question category, and you have to decide when they're going to buzz in with an answer. Now, you've got three time slot options. You've got one to five seconds, six to ten seconds, and 11 to 15 seconds. Now, of course, your opponent won't be able to see your prediction, and the points don't match the clock this time. It's the best of five. So, if you predict correctly, and the person answers the question right within your time slot, you get a point. If they answer it correctly outside of your time slot, they get the point. So, it's now time to wait and see who can make the right prediction. OK, the person that waited the longest over the first two rounds is Georgia. So, Georgia, you get to decide whether you'd like to predict first or answer first. I'd like to answer first, please. OK, so you'll be predicting first, Chloe. The category for question number one is nature. Now, before you make that prediction, let's have a little chat with Georgia. Georgia, yeah. do you know much about nature? I know a little bit. I do know you? about, like, some wild animals, but only, like, but not many. So, Chloe, you think yep. she knows more than she's letting on about nature? Yep. Are you ready to make a prediction? Yep. Press the button when you're ready. OK. We can all see the prediction, of course. Georgia can't. So let's hear our question on nature, please, Tim. In the Harry Potter books, one of me is situated on the boundaries of Hogwarts and is described as forbidden. <coughs> Ooh, in at seven seconds, what's the answer? An owl. It's the wrong answer. Let's look at the prediction. Chloe said you would come in between six and ten seconds. You buzzed in at seven. Chloe, you've got a chance to pick up this point if you can answer the question correctly. Do you know the answer? Is it an eagle? Eagle's the wrong answer. All right, that means nobody picks up a point on that first question. The answer we were looking for was forest. Not to worry, it's only the first question. The second category is plants. Georgia, it's your turn to predict. Before you do, let's talk to Chloe. Do you know a lot about plants? Yep. Do you grow any plants at home? Yep. What, what plants do you grow? Um, we grow conifers and stuff like that. Oh, cool. All right, you've heard what Chloe's had to say. Sounds like she's got green fingers to me, but you know her better than I do. Are you ready to make a prediction? Go for it. Press the button when you like. All right, there's George's prediction. Remember, Chloe, you can buzz in at any time with your answer on plants. Let's hear the clues, Tim. I'm a type of plant. You often see a keep off sign sticking out of me in some posh gardens and parks. You need a lawnmower to cut me. I'm usually green and I'm eaten by many kinds of animals. In at 10 seconds, what's the answer, is it Chloe? Grass? grass is correct. Let's see the prediction. Ooh, Georgia, you said she'd come in between 6 and 10. She came in at 10 with the correct answer, which means you've got the point. Well done. Yay. Little victory dance. I like that, that's great. This is question number three. The category is television, and Chloe, it's your turn to predict. So give us a moment with Georgia. Television, you watch a lot of it? Yeah, like 
six hours a day. Six hours a day? Not all at the same time. Chloe, do you think she's bluffing? Does she watch a lot of TV? Yep. You do? <laughs> <laughs> Press the button when you're ready. That's uh, Chloe's prediction. Georgia, you can buzz in any time, remember? Here come your clues. I'm a series of books that have been turned into a CBBC series. My first books were The Terrible Tudors and The Awesome Egyptians. I tell you things that are usually left out of the history lessons. You know, all of the gory stuff. In at 12 seconds, what's the answer, Georgia? Um, horrible Histories. Horrible Histories is correct. Let's see Chloe's prediction. Ooh, Chloe said you'd come in between 11 and 15, you were in at 12. Chloe gets a point. Well done, Chloe. Yeah, give yourself a round of applause. Neck and neck. As we go to question number four. The category is general knowledge. Your turn to predict, Georgia. Just give us a second. This could be on anything, Chloe. Do you think you have a good general knowledge? Not really. No? No. All right. Georgia, are you ready to make a prediction? OK, well, you press the button whenever you're ready. Press it hard. There we go. There it is. OK. Chloe, here come your clues on general knowledge. I'm a room in the house. You'll find a sink in me. You might also find a washing machine. My cupboards might... Mm. Chloe, kitchen. again? Kitchen. Kitchen is the correct answer. Let's look at the prediction. Ooh, Georgia said you'd come in between 11 and 15 seconds. You came in at... Seven seconds, which means you get the point, Chloe. Well done. Well done. So, there's only one question left in this round. You need to get this point to stay in the game. The fifth category is places, and it's Chloe's turn to predict. Before you do, Chloe, have you travelled a lot, Georgia? Yes. What interesting places have you been to? Well, this is on my holidays. I've been to Butlins, Bagnadies, yes. Butlins, Skegness, Butlins, Marned. Do I've you like been... Butlins? I've been to Haven. I've been to Flamingo Land. Have you been anywhere abroad? OK. Chloe, it's time for you to make your prediction. Press a button when you're ready. Chloe, if you get this point, you'll be through to our final round. Georgia, here come your clues on places. I'm a very famous building in Italy. I was originally built as a bell tower, although the bell is not the reason I'm famous. People take photos of themselves pretending to push me up because I'm at a bit of a jaunty angle. People have tried to straighten me up to make... Ooh, in at 14 seconds. What's the answer? Um, the fallen tower or something. It's very, very close, Georgia, but we need the full place name, so unfortunately, we can't give it to you. But let's have a look at the prediction. Chloe said you'd come in between six and ten seconds. You came in at 14 seconds. So that means the person joining me in the final with two points is Chloe. <laughs> the, uh, the correct answer for that last question was the Leaning Tower of Pisa. That means we have to say goodbye to you, Georgia. Oh, so if you could... Now. You have to go in that now. Please leave your play pods and enter the drop zone. Georgia. <laughs> covering your eyes. Georgia, you've been fantastic. You've been a really, really great player. It's time to say goodbye. We'll see you soon. There she goes. That's Georgia. You're smiling, you're happy to be here. Yep. What do you think of the goo portal now you're a little bit closer? It looks disgusting. <laughs> it does look disgusting. We're going to try and avoid it, Chloe, all right? But that's your final challenge. You're going to hear a series of questions. Each of them are 10 seconds long. You've got 60 seconds to give me six correct answers and make your way across the goo portal. Now, I'm going to do it now. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yes! See? It's not too tough, it's not too tough. Now, 
if you make it over in 40 seconds or more, you'll be taking away one of today's star prizes. And of course, if you don't make it over in 60 seconds, guess where you end up? In there. <laughs> in there is right. Now, there's one more twist. Even though you've got 60 seconds, you won't be able to see or hear the clock. Now, the clock's going to begin when I hear your first answer. I hope you do well. OK. Tim, let's begin. I'm a popular American sitcom. I'm set in New York and follow the lives of six people. My main characters drink coffee at their favourite cafe, Central Perk. One of my characters is called Phoebe. Pass. Next question. I'm a number. If you multiply me by myself, you'll still have only me. I'm singular and unique. Zero. If you reach this Zero. number in the... Zero is a wrong answer. I'm mainly found in cookbooks. Famous chefs like Jamie Oliver are always creating new versions of me. I teach you how to cook different types of food. I include a list of ingredients Chef. and what to do. The wrong answer. Next We're one. an Irish pop group. We're all male. Since Pass. Brian McFadden left the... Next question. I'm an animal. I'm the name given to some adult male mammals. I could be an elephant or a seal. But Pass. most likely... I... Next question. I'm a name for a type of meal. I'm not breakfast, lunch or dinner. For you, it might be milk and biscuits before bedtime. Cook. For a lot of Pass. people, it's the... Next question. I am a way of being artistic. You would normally use paper to create me. I might be black and white, or I could contain lots of colours. You'll need Paint. to move pencils around on... That's the wrong answer. Next I'm one. I'm a character from a nursery rhyme. I don't like spiders, because when I this sat down on my tuffet... to eat... muffet is right. Move forward. Oh, no! Just out of time. Help me out, audience. Three, two, one... <laughs> She's swimming! She's swimming! She's not going to go home empty-handed. She's going to take away one of our intergalactic space bouncers. Give it up for Chloe! <laughs> what a cracking game. Join us next time on Wait For It. Well done, Chloe. Thank well you. Done. Well done. <laughs> Lifestyle experience, it just, it was amazing. I was made up for Chloe to get through because she's one of my best mates. We got guys out way for it! <laughs> 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 